So I'm here with uh, Nathan Trent from Austria. Oh, actually, um, Nathan Trent isn't your your. It's only your stage name, right? right? What's your real name, and why did you decide to use Nathan Trent? Oh uh, well, my my real name is uh, is Nathanael Kohl. Um, I have a much larger name, but I won't tell you. <laughs> It's too long. It takes too long. Um, I wanted to to have a stage name that sounded um, first of all that people can pronounce and that people can write down. Uh, sh a shorter version, just so I took Nathan and Trent is a province in, in Italy, so I decided to take my roots from Italy and put it into an international name. So that's how it was born. Yeah. And what about your song? It's called uh, Running on Air. Um, how do you actually do that? How I actually run on air? <laughs> um, well, um, it's a good question, actually. I don't know. I think running on air, well, it stands for a, a metaphor to just uh, enjoy and embrace life's moments, you know, ups and downs, as I always say in the in the song. So um, life is um, is full of dynamics and you got to embrace them. And if you're at the low point, you're going to be at the high point at some point. And uh, that's what I tried to express with the song. And that's why I always, uh, that's why I also um, wanted to be in the moon. Because the symbolism is very much the message of the song. Yeah, you've been on stage today for the first time and yes. rehearsing. And you actually got the, the biggest applause so far in oh, the press really? center. Oh, wow. So we would like to know, uh, how did you get the idea for the for the staging and the graphics? Well, you know, actually it was a coincidence. I was watching some videos online and I saw I saw a picture of a, a, a picture in the movie uh, of a moon. I was like, wait a minute. Then I looked up what the definition of a moon is. and. It has a lot of definitions, but the most important one was self-belief. And that's what the song about. And I was like, it was clicking. I said, oh my God, I, 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 I need to be the man in the moon then. And uh, that's what happened. They, they, they took my idea, because we had a lot of concepts before, and we were working on so many different things. And then Marvin, the stage manager, the stage director just said, um, you know what, then let's go with this idea. And we really turn it into reality, and that's amazing that I can be sitting on the moon and, and watching, being in the night sky in the daylight. So it's amazing. Yeah, and it looked amazing. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you actually had the chance to represent two countries this year. Um, oh, you were uh, involved in the German pre-selection. Right. Could you tell us how it happened? Well, I was asked to join the convention, the casting for um, for the German production when I was in America, because my best friend sent my link to the production company without telling me. And uh, then I got an email, yeah, I got an email um, saying, yeah, you're one of the 33 candidates who is invited to the convention. I was like, huh, what? <laughs> I didn't even apply. And uh, that I got, I found out it was my best friend. And uh, so, um, yeah, they invited me. I wasn't on any contract. And, but the, the, the procedure, the Austrian procedure was going, has been going on since June. And I was in America in September. So I already knew about Austria being in a, in a pre-selection phase. And due to the fact that I had no contracts, um, I was able to experience both and both countries knew. But um, Austria was a little faster at that time. So um, I'm very honored to be here. Uh, two years ago, we were actually visiting uh, Austria, building bridges uh, yeah, <laughs> after sure. Conchita's victory. Have you met Conchita and uh, did she give, uh, give you a few advices on how to win this thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I met her in London for the first time and uh, funny they had to go to London to meet. <laughs> But uh, she's very busy, so um, that, I was happy that she was there. She just told me, you know what, let's go for it. Just just do it and don't let anyone, don't let anyone bring you down because you know what you stand for and you know what the message of the song is so just live it and um, uh, yeah that's basically what she said and she was very supportive and just making sure that I know what's going on and yeah that's it yeah and then one last thing do you have a message for your Danish fans yeah um uh, uh, hi everyone <laughs> um, I'm I'm so happy that that Do you see the video, everyone who's watching? Um, thank you for the support and thank you for the love you're sending. And um, well, uh, I'll be you know, uh, in the second semifinal. So if you guys want to vote, I'm very, very happy about that. And thank you for everything you're doing. Bye.